Okay, welcome. We're going to be continuing up with our uh, series on Akemi. Uh, one of the Akemis that we teach here in Wishamru is the elevator down. It's a very basic um, familiarity with just going down uh, on, on a fall, basically. So, just like we have different drills, this is a drill that we use. It gets you accustomed to you know, lowering yourself, meeting the ground, just like we always said when you're meeting your friend, the ground is your friend. You go to meet it under your own terms. Okay, so one of the uh, uh, can be drills we use is called elevator down. Okay, basically what we do is just you know put our hands out, stretch, and we soften our knees, make sure that we have good posture. The hips are tucked in this way, okay, forward, so you have good posture. The ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders are in a parallel alignment. It just comes out here just to kind of get you uh, used to using your hands and having them out in front of you and getting you a feel for center. So what we're basically going to do is just going to lower ourselves. Make sure you have enough spread here that you can actually go down. Okay. So we're going to go down like this. We're going to go down almost to where we touch the ground. Okay. Just like an elevator going down. Okay. So we keep our center. And from this angle, we go down this way. Okay. Now. Uh, we do this, we have, uh, we're going to be using our hands, and our hands are padded. So you never really want to use your hand to roll this way. You always want to use your pads down. Well, so we got some padding here. So we're going to have that first touch the ground, okay? So I'm going to go elevator down, touch with your butt, and roll back like that. Now, as you go back, very important part here. You're going to touch. What you're doing is you're spreading out your um, distribution of your weight, your impact, and very importantly, your chin is to your chest. Your head does not go back, okay? So, a uh, very important angle that uh, you want to uh, keep in mind is this. When, you, when you're going backwards, you're not going to go reach out this way away from you. Like that. So if you look at it horizontally, that's not the angle that you want. Neither is this. We go from the hips out into a V, like a delta pattern. Okay. The reason being is, as you're going down, right? So if you look at it here, as you're going down, you're starting to make that contact. See that? Like brushing, almost like a breaking aspect. You're feeling, you're getting connected to the ground before you even go back with this complete. Now, if I go here, wait until I'm here, to go here or there, look how far of a distance I've had to go. I didn't even get a chance to stop and break. I just went right to the end. And what happens is now you've got too much force, no matter how hard you put your chin to your chest, your head is going to smack back on the ground. And that you do not want. Okay? So, very important with the elevator down. Again, lower, hand placement, and back up. So, right now we're just going up and back like that. It's a very simple way to uh, get used to this. Okay? Um, if you remember the turtle exercise, okay, where we reach out, go out this way, go up, down like that, we end up going around, okay. So you will also use this when you start doing uh, some backwards you can be reaching out, uh, which will be an extension of the elevator down. Um, the elevator down, you can as you go back, right, you can go into a V pattern. So if you shoot out and up, these act like air brakes, uh, or unlike Bugs Bunny, <laughs> air brakes. Um, uh, more like a flywheel, okay? So it disperses that energy out, stops you from rolling all the way back. So let's say you are going down, you know if you roll over that edge, you're toast, you can break, okay? It just stops. It's almost like shooting your leg straight up in the air when you're doing a forwards or a back roll it decreases the speed because it throws that angular momentum to a fixed point up, OK? 
Okay, so here you're doing two, uh, which really helps you stop if you need to. Um, if you need to go to one side, you can actually use that momentum to throw yourself back and go into a back roll uh, from the ground. Okay, so keep that in mind. Okay, so if you look from a backwards perspective, you're going down, 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 touch, and up. So if you want more of an emphasis, you go with that way. Okay, it'll help you stop that way. Okay, all right, so that is our elevator down drill, very basic. Um, there are some variations that would go on from there, which we're going to cover next.